Hello everyone and welcome to episode 73 of the TW2020 New Japan Pro Wrestling Series here on the channel. This is the Wrestling Duntaku Tour, which will have 8 shows, 6 row 2 shows, and then the final 2 shows, which are splitting up obviously into 2 days. And so this should be a pretty exciting tour, if I do say so myself, as uh, we have a Champion vs. Champion main event for day 1 that's going to have a 30 minute time limit to it, as that will be between Tyler Black and the Great Okan. The Intercontinental Champion versus Never Overweight Champion. That should be a banger. As uh, we'll go through the card. Well, we're just kind of already talking about it. So yeah, we talked about the main event. The co-main event, though. Sonata versus Hayato tomorrow for a New Japan Strong Openweight title matchup there. Uh, that should be a lot of fun. And honestly, it probably is going to be potentially the best match on the card. I really do think that tomorrow's the man. Sonata's been incredible. There's been, I mean, there's a lot of hardy marquee singles matches here. You see the very next matchup, the IWGP United States title matchup, Claudio Castagnoli, Swiss Money himself, taking on AJ Styles for the U.S. title. Claudio, that's uh, where our start of uh, his New Japan journey began, as far as wanting to face the best of the best in New Japan and was eyeing that U.S. title, and he finally gets his chance and maybe can fully redeem himself after what Rushmore have done to him. As well as Tetsuya Naito versus Drew Robinson in a singles match. Of course, these two men have been at war as of late. As far as they have been battling back and forth throughout the months. As far as in six-man and eight-man competition. Finally, they're going to settle it one-on-one -on -one in a non-title matchup there. Rarely do we see those singles matches go for non-title. But felt like this grudge match could, could use that. Thought about throwing a gimmick on there. Like maybe, I don't know, like a Texas death match or something. But felt like that would be a little too much. For it, um, but yeah, you know, as far as that's going to be a, a fun little matchup, because Juice has been pretty solid. He's probably going to outperform Tetsuya Naito, funny enough, so that should be wild. Junior Everweight title matchup, Jonathan Gresham taking on SB Kento. SB Kento looking to make his first successful defense of his Junior Heavyweight title. This would be a big win for him. That is for sure, because Jonathan Gresham is an absolute savage in there. As uh, Jonathan Gresham, you know, as far as getting a huge win here today, would be massive as far as from the perspective of you're going to be the junior champion going into Best Super Juniors. So that's, you know, you've got a big target on your back. But also, a lot of marquee main events for that man. That would be for sure. As, uh, then we're going to have a Chaos versus Test Force Death matchup to build up towards. It's going to be an eight-man. As uh, it's going to have Joe Doring, Shatora, Sheena, Kira, Francesco, and I believe Rocky Romero. It might be Rocky or Yo. I can't remember. And then Task Force Death will be Kenta, Pac, Ray Phoenix, and Shota Yumino. As uh, Task Force Death. We'll take on Joe Doring and Shatora Shino and Kira Francesco on night two for the Never Avoid Six Man Tag Team titles, which is a little prelude there. And then LIJ versus Court of Justice. This is going to be, uh, I want to say it's Hiromu Sen uh, Shingo, rather, but it's uh, not as. I think it's Hiromu Shingo and Bushi against Hanare, Taichi, and El Fantasma. I believe that's that six man matchup on the undercard. Then to kick off the show, it's a New Japan Strong Openweight Tag Team title matchup. Josh Alexander and Corey Jarvis are going to take on the Astronauts as uh, Josh Alexander and Corey Jarvis get this opportunity because of a New Japan Strong win that they had. I want to say it was the last episode. It wasn't this, um, or two episodes rather now. It was not the one that just happened uh, last week as they got a major win to uh, qualify for a title contention, a title shot rather. Now. I don't know why it's a title contention. Title shot between them and the Astronauts, which will start off the Night one show for night two. Of course, a major heavyweight title matchup. Zack Sabre Jr. versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Major, major, major matchup there. A rematch from Wrestle Kingdom. They've had a lot of great matches throughout really the past two years. It's been now at the, you know, the Royal Quest show main event for the Intercontinental title between Zack and Nakamura. Zack beat him for the first time. That uh, that was a 99. That main event for Wrestle Kingdom was a 99. This will probably follow that as well. Uh, and then the co-main event, tag team title matchup, Jay White and Miro taking on Golden Ace. That should be a banger as well. I mean, everyone in that match is pretty fucking good. Uh, obviously, I think Abushi and Tanashi will be the stronger of the two teams. We'll see if they can pick up the win there and keep their reign running. As a number one contendership for the U.S. title matchup, a number one contendership matchup between Daniel Makabe and Brody Lee. Winner takes on the winner of Claudio Castagnoli and uh, AJ Styles at Dominion. So that's a major matchup there. Uh, that's, you know, that's a Styles Clash match for sure. Brody Lee, bigger, stronger. And Daniel Makabe, more technically sound, faster. 
can look to uh, pull off a major win, if that is the case, and Brody Lee will look to uh, get that U.S. title again, would be massive, that is for sure. And then the order of destruction versus Volter and Katsuyu Kunimura, number, another, rather, number one contendership matchup for the tag team titles. Winner of this matchup takes on the winner of this matchup. So we got a lot of number one contendership matches on this undercard, as uh, LIJ versus House of Black, as a little the six-man tag, as far as uh, really we're building up towards potentially Tetsuya Naito versus Tyler Black, potentially there. So that's why that match is happening on this show. And then uh, Flight Club versus Rushmore. It's going to be Hayato Jr., Fujita, and then uh, obviously Top Flight against Roger Strong and the Young Bucks. That's actually a really solid undercard matchup. I'm, I'm excited to see how that plays out. And then the Junior Heavyweight Tag Team title matchup to kick off the show. Fred Yei and Shane Strickland taking on Mexa Blood. It's a big opportunity for Fred Yei and Shane Strickland in uh, Mexa Blood. They've had an incredible run as the Junior Tag Team Champions as of late. And uh, that would be a massive win for either team. Uh, to go into Dominion as the Junior Tag Team Champions would be pretty massive. But also, you know, obviously the best of the juniors is right around the corner. So also got to think of that from that perspective as well. As far as... Uh, that would another, you know, target on your back, being a champion, going into that best of juniors. Even if, though, you're a tag team champion, you still are in that junior division, and everybody's eyeing a chance to be the champion. That is for sure. So, though, everything's pre-booked. So, this should be pretty uh, simple. Should be a pretty click-and-play uh, type of, uh, as far as episode. We're not really trying to think of things on the spot. We got everything pre-booked, ready to go. As I want to say, we will not be running Kanto, that is for sure. It's going to be pretty tough, though, because I know we've kind of ran a lot of venues as of late. So we'll have this be at Wakayama. This night one show. Uh, you know, United Empire versus House of Black is a good call for a main event. As far as Okan, Katsuki, Kinemori, and Drew Gulak against Tyler Black, Malachi Black, and Rob Eagles, obviously the main event for night one. Just makes sense. For that to potentially be the main event for uh, this day. We also have uh, Joe Doring, Shatoru, Shina, Kier, Francesco against uh, the Lucha Brothers and Shota Yumino. Set for Steel of Shell. Francesco's going to beat Yumino. Uh, we also have Naito and Hiromu against Justice. Juice and Naito battling it out here, obviously. And Juice is going to beat Naito. So that's a big win for Justice, first of all. That's the first time they've ever beaten the LIJ team of Naito and Hiromu. And oh, Naito is pretty unhappy about that. We will keep him strong. They had a little momentum building for, for Juice there. You love to see it. We'll probably have that be the co-main. And then Claudio teaming up with Fred Rosser to get on Rushmore. So this is a tactical match class matchup as Roger Strong's going to beat Fred Rosser there. And then we have a Young Lion matchup. Fujinami versus Takeshi Masada. As uh, he is, I want to say in real life he's a DDT. Yes, DDT Young Lion. I don't know why I was kind of blanking. I was like, I want to say, yes, he was a DDT Young Lion. 22 years old. Uh, he's a year in already. We'll see how he does as far as I believe we have not used him. I think we used him on strong, actually. Yes, we did, which it was a 41 in that matchup. Not the greatest of ratings, but uh, we'll see how he does here against uh, Leona Fujinami. Fujinami is obviously going to win. And then Jason Lee against, against Yuma and Zai as Jason Lee will be getting the win in that matchup as well. So, some young Lions involved. Pretty solid opener, and uh, I think that six-man can do pretty well there. Obviously, Shoto Yumino in a big opportunity, but uh, I think all around, this is a pretty solid tour show. Hopefully, uh, nothing bad happens, especially on that opener. It's a 73, though. It's Claudio and Fred Rosser. Yeah, they didn't have a chance as Roger Strong with the strangle, or with the strangle, with the stronghold. Over uh, Fred Rosser in 18 minutes. AJ and Roddy, definitely the better team. And the more actual, you know, the actual team. So it makes sense why they would get the win there. And J Jason Lee beating Yuma there. It actually cooled the crowd a little. Jason Lee with the Hong Kong Tornado at 9.56. And then a 60 for Fujinami and over Takeshi uh, Masada. It's a double underhook suplex from Leona Fujinami at 9.39. It's a nice win. And it was a better matchup than the Jason Lee Yuma matchup. 77, man, yeah, for the Chaos. Task Force Death, six-man matchup as Francesco pinning Shota Yumino with Akira Soul. Yeah, I mean, solid stuff there. Uh, it was actually pretty close, but a slight edge to the Chaos team. But yeah, it's a solid matchup. That is for sure. Hiromu Naito losing to Hanare and Juice. This is the guilty sentence for Juice Robinson. 
over Tetsuya Naito. Fun finish. Uh, you know, I'm a fan of that finish. Obviously, the Miracle's most wanted finish. Uh, but to have that be uh, be done by... Or actually, really, it's um, not even that. It's the fucking uh, Pulp Friction into the splash from Hanare at the same time. So it's... Uh, I mean, it's a fun finish, though. That's for sure. And it's a 20-minute victory, though, for Hanare and Juice Robinson, which they desperately need. That's a great win for Justice. That is for sure. That's an 82, which was solid. Better than this. Main event, United Empire. You're out of rage with Drew Gulak against the House of Black. As the House of Black gets the win, it's Robbie Eagles to the war 4-5 over Drew Gulak, which is the right decision. You know, as far as Robbie Eagles is a little bit better, Malachi Black a little bit better, and Tyler Black a little bit better than Great O'Conn. So, the right team wins. Up at a solid little tour show. Not the greatest, but not terrible, too, at the same time. And the matches that I wanted delivered, delivered. So, there is that. That's all you can really ask for. From a tour show perspective. So on to day two we go. Alrighty. Day two. As uh, we have some backstage incidents. Let's see what Liger's doing. Oh, he flipped his locker room when he organized and won a video game tournament. Way to go, Liger. As uh, Flamingo's brought for Russell's court. Accused of not joining the rest of the locker room for a night out. As the judge, Roshan, actually found them guilty and sent some drinks from after the show. Alrighty. Uh, so the main event for this night. There's a lot of United Empire matches. As you know, they are uh, pretty busy those next, you know, as far as those last two days of the tour. We also have a Dark Order Chaos matchup as well. Uh, United Empire versus Blast Off. So this is uh, Josh Alexander, Corey Jarvis, and Gavin McGavin, and Jason Lee, and then the Astronauts. So it is a Techno Masterclass matchup, so we know what's the opener now. There is that. This is probably the main event. I don't even know why I thought it wouldn't be this, but it's you know building up to obviously Zack and Nakamura. It's Zack, Falter, and Drew Black against Alexander Hammerstone and Kushida. As Falter's going to beat... Alexander Hammerstone in 20 minutes. Uh, you know, there's a lot of interesting matches. Because, like, this Sonata Shingo Dragonston matchup is pretty fun. Shingo's going to be Kyle O'Reilly there in 20 minutes. No debate. No debate at all. Gresham and Makabe against SB, SB Kendo and Bushi. Obviously, what a team this was in the junior division as far as Gresham and Makabe. Haven't really seen them a whole lot in the uh, junior division because we're going to build up Makabe out of that junior division into the heavyweight scene. Now, that still should be a banger matchup. And then Dark Order versus Chaos, eight-man tag. Order of Destruction with Silver and Reynolds against uh, Tomori Ishii, Tomoya, Arata, Rocky Romero, and Yo. Silver's going to beat Yo in 20 minutes. Oh, yeah, Ishii's hurt. That's right, duh. I'm a fucking idiot. I don't know why I was thinking that uh, Ishii's back, but he is not back. And then Fred Yehai versus Yuya. Kuroku, as far as uh, for the Young Lion matchup, obviously Fred Day is going to get the win. Oh, uh, yeah, this is, um, I was about to say, uh, the Blast Off matchup. This is the Tactical Mask Class matchup, so this is going to go here. Other than that, I think it's going to be a pretty solid show. Main event should deliver, and that's uh, kind of, should be our saving grace for sure. And uh, we ran the Toyashi General Gymnasium last time, so we'll be to the Nagoya. Congress Center for this day. We should be good to go, but I just want to double check. Yeah, we're, we're good to go. And day two, 72 for the opener. Wow, that is not bad at all. As a blast off against the United Empire, pretty solid matchup. So that's a good sign for this, as far as the tag match that's happening on night one, as far as how we think that the opener is going to play out. Because Abe and Tukuna the Moore is going to do really well, and Alexander and Jarvis should do pretty well. That's that's a good sign. Sign for sure. 55 for Yehai and Yuya as uh, Koji Clutch for Fred Yehai. Makes sense. Obviously, Young Lions are going to do around the low 30 mark. As uh, Rocky dislocates his wrist and that's 8-man. As uh, Dark Order does get the win. Sean Silver with the discus layered over John Silver. Yummy yeah, Reynolds was the worst guy for Dark Order. Uh, Rogoto with a 37. Just god awful. Poor Rokigoto. As uh, Will Hobbs was the one who... Uh, I don't know how he almost injured him, but he got injured by something else. Uh, just so happenstance. He just had zero luck at all in that matchup. But Gresham and Makabe beating Bushi and SB Kento. Gresham with a 630 over Bushi. But yeah, Daniel Makabe with an 88 is insane. Like, that's super good. He's the man. An 80 for Sonata and Chingo against Kyle O'Reilly and Hayato Tamora. Team with excellent chemistry there. Pretty close. Um... You know, I think it was the right decision, at least to have Shingo beat Kyle O'Reilly. I know Shingo was really off his game, so this would have been a little bit better. But, uh, Made in Japan, solid matchup. That's a, yeah, I'll, I'll gladly take that. 
an 80 there, an 81 for our main event. As uh, United Empire beating, or rather, yeah, yeah, I was about to say, I think I uh, got that right. Yeah, United Empire beating Kingdom of Strong Styles Falter, pinning Alexander Hammerstone with the Burning Lariat. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Nakamura is an 89, 79 for Zack Sabre Jr., 72 for Valter, 62 for Kushida, 59 for Drew Gulak, and then Alexander Hammerstone. Rounding up the group with a 56, not great, but at least he's on the same level as Gulak, but even though Drew Gulak is the man, he, we gotta get him some more wins. I think that Empire team is just stacked with talent, when you really think about it. But yeah, it's a solid day two show. Kind of hit a brick wall there in the middle, but it is what it is. And it's on to day three we go. Alrighty, day three, as uh, we have some more backs. Oh, we have one backstage incident, right? Let's get so much about it. Pass it on microphone work to SB Kento. As uh, yeah, for this day three show, we have, uh, as far as we'll pick the venue real quick, while well, I'm thinking about it. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess we can run this a nice on Plaza. It won't be a sellout, but it'll be pretty close. Should go well. Uh, let's see, main events. So we're going to have Claudio team up with Top Flight. As uh, they're going to take on Rushmore in an eight-man. This is a fun matchup, though. As, uh, you know, Flight Club getting uh, Claudio as well. As far as, you know, again, maybe potentially. Is he going to join Flight Club? That, that kind of story as well. Going involved uh, with that matchup. But obviously, you know, we're having Roddy and the Bucks take on Flight Club. And obviously, Claudio and AJ is having their U.S. title matchup. So just taking two matches. Putting them into one. Giant eight man as uh, Nick Jackson's gonna beat Darius Mart. No. LIJ versus the Dragon's Den should probably go next. The six man Sonata Shingo Bushi against Heyara Tamara, Kyle O'Reilly, and Daniel Garcia as Heyara Tamara is gonna be Shingo. So that's a great win for Heyara Tamara. I don't know why Shingo's so upset because Tamara's the man. He's gonna outperform him. I already know it. But we'll keep him strong just, uh, just for the sake of being nice. Uh, I don't know why. Yeah, we gotta change that matchup since Ishii's out on the card again. Uh, I don't know why I kept on doing that. As, uh, yeah, I mean, United Empire versus Blast Off probably the Steal the Show matchup. Oh no, it's the Technical Master Class matchup. So Josh and Jarvis with Gavin McGavin against Takuya Nomura, Fuminori Abe, and Shun Skywalker. As Josh Wexler is gonna beat Shun Skywalker. So that's a nice win for the challengers. Foundation versus Mexico Blood must be Steal the Show. Nope. It's the sixth man, though. Yay High, Shane Strickland, Myron Reed against. Samurai Del Sol, Ryu Lee, and Dorada, as Dorada's going to beat Myron Reed there in 17 minutes. So that, if we were going to have that be the Steel of the Show matchup, that is pretty interesting. As, uh, I mean, I guess it is what it is, because this is the, the Masterclass matchup, so we got to have Steel of the Show matchup, as Yuga is back out there against Shibata. He's going to lose in 10 minutes. That matchup's probably not going to go all that well, but... It's nice to get Shibata in there. It's last year. It's Coughlin Connors. Will be against Hiroki Goto and Tomoya Harada. Not Hiroki Goto and Tomoya Ishii, unfortunately. But that, I mean, still should be a pretty solid matchup. Clark Connors is going to beat Tomoya Ishii. That, or, he's going to beat Hiroki Goto, though. As Goto's going to probably be the worst guy in the match. There is that. That's a pretty hit and miss on their card, I'll be honest. Uh, but I think this should deliver. As again, just want to double check. Yeah, Mine Reed does have that rib condition. Kind of forgot about that. Oh, uh, trying to think. I don't know why I click on that. Just got Strickland, yay high. If we can go with Casanova, I don't think it wouldn't be that bit, big of a deal. And just have Casanova take the loss. Not bad. Not bad. We'll see how it runs, though. Um, you know, really just kind of banging on that main event more than anything. 70, though, for the opener. As uh, Abe, Takuya Moore, and Josh Alexander doing well in that matchup. Josh Alexander pinning Shun Skywalker after the TKO. Not bad at all. 49 for Shibata and Yuya Koroku as uh, ankle lock for Katsuri Shibata in 939. Cold crowd level. And that matchup is 61 for Coughlin Connors against Harada and Goto. I mean, Harada's getting better. It's just, you know, he's stuck at kind of being put with bad teammates now. You know, it's because Goto's not at that level. Same thing for Ishii. But, uh, yeah, Clark Connors pinning him with the Roar of a Champion in 948. Not a bad match. Or 949. Not a bad match at all. What could have been? It could have been a lot worse. 76 for the foundation against uh, the Mexiblood team. As uh, Mascar Dorada 
hitting Christian Casanova after the corkscrew somersault senton bomb. Fuck yeah. But yeah, what a great teaming as far as with Dorada, Samurai Del Sol, Ryu Lee. Like, that Mexa Blood teaming is tremendous. And it's much better than what we were doing with Flamita, Ray Horace, and uh, Ryu Lee, the, the actual Mexa Blood team. But now adding Dorada in Del Sol, and Del Sol, I mean, it's just been fantastic. And uh, yeah, the foundation didn't really have a chance. In that matchup. 74 for LIJ versus Dragon's Den. Tamora pinning Shingo with the Auto Driver. Yeah, outperformed him. Wasn't really, I mean, it was a five point difference, so it was kind of close, but yeah, just as far as, uh, it was a nice win, for, though, for the Dragon's Den, because really Tamora, and I would say Kyle O'Reilly, but really Tamora is keeping the Dragon's Den fresh and alive while Brian's on the shelf. So it's been great to see him really succeeding and where he was to where he's at now. I mean, the, the rise from a young lion to being the New Japan Strong Old Boy Champion and really delivering in a big-time matchup. Pretty big. 76 for the main event as Claudio with Flight Club losing to Rushmore. But that's a hell of a matchup, though, honestly, when you kind of think about it. Because, yeah, Claudio's the best guy, but top flights in the 60s. Same thing for Hayato Jr. Fujita. Just fantastic. Fantastic stuff as Nick Jackson with an 80. The best guy in the match. Nick Jackson. So shout out Nick there. But uh, 450 splash for Nick Jackson. Getting the win with the 450 splash in 20 minutes. Yeah, pretty. I mean, again, we just keep on having the same kind of format as far as we have a pretty good technical mass class matchup. The Young Lion matchup shits the bed. And then the next matchup also shits the bed. Then we somehow get it back for the final three matches. Uh, yeah, just that seems to be the format for this tour. And so we just have days four, five, and six left as far as the road two shows. As uh, hopefully, again, nobody seriously gets hurt. Coming up on the end of the tour. Alrighty, day four. We'll see what the backstage incident is. Said so Akira Francesco. So he entertained the locker room by organizing a poker tournament. Way to go, Francesco. So the main event for this show. Probably this night Empire's Kingdom of Strong style six man matchup as uh, basically almost the same kind of match we just ran with uh, United Empire in the Kingdom of Strong style, but now it's going to be Katsuki Kitamura in Volter and Hammerstone and Jeff Cobb as Katsuki Kitamura is going to beat Jeff Cobb there. So another win for United Empire. Thought about giving them a win, but uh, just felt like United Empire keep on getting wins is a good call. Uh, uh, then we got, as far as the co-main, probably this Chaos Task Force death matchup. It's pretty solid. Uh, look at Tomoya Arata, though, in a big-time matchup. He's losing the Pentagon, Jr., unfortunately, but that's a solid eight-man. Hopefully that delivers. Uh, and then we'll have, I mean, this Black, uh, yeah, Black Taurus, Brody Lee, Makabe and Lee Mortari matchup's pretty fun, as is gonna beat Black Taurus. Yeah, that's fine. I, just, I thought about it. I thought about giving Brody that win, but we'll stick with that. Uh, then we'll have Claudio with Coughlin Connors against Rushmore. So, now, you know, now teaming up with the LA Dojo kids. AJ's going to beat him, though. As AJ's going to beat Alex Coughlin in 20 minutes. Garcia and Show against Bushi and SB Kento. Steal the show matchup as SB Kento will get the win. So, junior champion getting a win. That's nice to see. Then Yehai versus El Fantasmo as is going to get the win. So, no Young Lions on the card. And that's probably why this match is, or this match, the show is going to be a lot better than the previous ones that we have just ran. Uh, but I think as as far as from a perspective of building up talent, it sucks that we're not going to have a Young Lion matchup on this card, but I think there's a lot of guys also that can help benefit from being on the card, like a Tomoya Harada, like an SB Kinto. I mean, it should be a solid show, though. Should be. It's 64 for the opener. Alpha Fantasio did outperform him, so that's a good performance from him. AI getting a win. That was a Koji Clutch in 15.50. 65 for Sho and Garcia against SB Kento and Bushi. As SB Kento with the shooter, or with the shooter, SB Shooter over Sho. It's a good win. It's the worst guy in the match, though, unfortunately. But uh, Bushi, though, does pretty well. He's the best guy in the match. 78 for Claudio, Coughlin, and Connors against Rushmore. As the Super Styles Clash from AJ Styles on Coughlin. That is hilarious. But uh, yeah, Nick Jackson, again, killing it. PW just loves Nick Jackson. Anytime you, uh, even on 2016 or 2020, you uh, you book the Bucks, Nick always becomes the better of the two, which I guess that is true for real life's sake, but it's just kind of funny how far away it, it becomes. Makabe and uh, Lee Moriarty 
beating Brody Lee and Black Taurus. Yeah, I mean, it was close, but right team probably wins there. Makabe with the Makabe lock over Black Taurus in 20 minutes. Nice win there. And an 81 for the eight man match. Yep, Fast Horse Death beating Chaos, getting their revenge there. It's Pentagon Jr. with a Fear Factor over Tomoya Harada. Yeah, right, right decision, though, obviously. But that, that six man team of Rafe, Pac, and Kent is insane. This is such a good team. And an 82 for the main event. As, uh, what a performance there from Nakamura with a 92. Zach with a 79. That's not a great rating. Um, the Cobb and Hammerstone. Pretty bad. Uh, Volter. Not involved in the finish, though. But Katsuki Kitamura pinning Jeff Cobb with the Laird. At least he was much better than Jeff Cobb. So at least that made sense. But and so far, I see that's probably the best you know, tour show that we've had so far. Which makes sense. You know, like we said again. No Young Lion matches. So it's pretty straightforward stuff. On to day five. We go. All right, day five is another backstage incident. Satoshi Kojima passing on Mike from work to Hayata tomorrow. I love that he's still doing that. That's so funny. What a pop. Man, what a tag match that is. That's crazy. I only got a 64. That, that tag match rules. The main event for this show. I mean, this makes sense to be the main, but also this is the much better match. So we're probably going to have that be the main. Zoring and Ashino losing to Kenta and Pac. What a tag match, though. They did this last year, literally. Almost exactly uh, one year ago today. But it was day two instead of day five. Now, this is an 80 when we did it then. I think it should go a little bit better this time around. But what a win, though, for Kenta and Pac. Kenta's going to get the win over Joe Doring. Then United Rage versus Tyler Black and Malachi Black. As Katsuya Kitamura beating Malachi Black. Another big win for uh, Katsuya Kitamura. He keeps on bringing away some major, major wins. Los Angeles right there upon against Dragons Den. Bushi's going to beat Shells. A nice win for LIJ there. Then uh, Claudio. Actually, this is a nice eight-man, too. This is a pretty solid show. So it's uh, Tanahashi and Bushi. Golden Ace with the Astronauts against Hassle Tortures. Takuya Namor is going to beat Brody King in 20 minutes. I kind of want to put it there. Yeah, I think this that's going to be a better matchup. We'll see. We shall see. Then Claudio and Hayato Jr. Vegeta against AJ. And Roderick Strong is, again, Rushmore just keeps on getting wins over uh, any type of teaming against uh, poor Claudio. But Tai Chi is going to be King Mo in the uh, opener in the Tactical Masterclass matchup. So at least a nice little win for, you know, as far as we did, uh, Court of Justice versus the Foundation last year show and in the opener now we're gonna have Tai Chi versus King Mo which uh, that's just a funny ass match to book but I think that should go I mean Tai Chi's okay as far as technical skill same thing for King Mo but he's just kind of not as, as good as him uh, but uh, I think overall should be a pretty solid little show I guess we got to run here it kind of just is what it is I'm gonna be severely uh, under capacity but Still should be an okay matchup. Yeah, 47. Not great. Tai Chi does well, but King Mo, not so much. Six, or 76, rather, for Claudio Castagnoli and Hayato Jr. Fujita against Roddy and AJ. Pretty close, but uh, yeah, I mean, AJ and Roddy was the better team. Another Super Styles clash from AJ Styles as he gets a win in 13 minutes. Love that he's busting that out on a tour show. Bushi tapping out show with the Ashi Road. Yeah, show's kind of below everybody else, but uh, Sonata was the best guy in the matchup, so that's cool. Yeah, that New Japan Strong Openweight title matchup should go over pretty well between the two. It's an 83, wow, for the eight-man. Drew Parker and Brody King were not that great, so I'm glad they took the fall, but everybody else's matchup was really good. Zabushi with an 84 as well, he's the best guy in the match, Jesus Christ. Takuya Moore, though, pinning Brody King with a dragon suplex in 20 minutes. 79 for United Rage. Versus Tyler Black and Malachi Black. Great uh, performance from United Rage, but uh, probably the wrong team won. I, actually, I don't know, though. It's actually uh, the right team did win. But uh, Tyler Black was the best guy. But, uh, kept two more with the Boston Crab over Malachi Black. You love to see and an 86 for our main event. Yeah, I figured this was going to be pretty solid, and it definitely was Kenta pinning Joe Doring with the Kenta combo into the Psycho Knee. What a main event. Solid show. Uh, if we would have flipped this and this, it probably would have been even better. Probably would have been an 85-plus tour show. But yeah, that's uh, as far as we got one more tour show left. we got day six left, and then it's on to the final two shows of the Wrestling Dutaku Tour. 
been pretty straightforward stuff, obviously, since we got everything pre-booked, but uh, I think we're building towards a pretty solid show. I, you know, as far as the Tyler Black, Great Okan main event is a little, it's got me a little diced as far as uh, a little nervous compared to what uh, we have on for day two, because that day two main event is going to be insane. But, uh, you know, you got to just keep your fingers crossed and hope everything goes well, really, as far as having a big time champion versus champion matchup. It's something we rarely do. So I think that's why I wanted to have it be a big marquee matchup, but at the same time, I don't think it's going to deliver it the same way as probably if we would have had the tag team titles made event this first night instead. But we'll see. It's on to day six we go. All right, day six. Let's go to back scene instead. It's uh, Toshi Kojima passing on microphone work to his protege, Heiato Tamora. As, uh, let's see here. We're going to go with... The main event, I mean, so, the idea behind this is we were going to do an angle, which we, we probably will, as Claudio was just kind of down and, and, and thinking, just like, man, we got, i got to find a better partner. Like, i got to do something to get a win over AJ Styles and Roderick Strong. Like, you, you know, you've seen the teams he's been with, hasn't been working out. So, Kata, just, you know, a little slap on the, the shoulder and just being like, I, it's only right. We only, we have Swiss money in the Rainmaker team up type of thing. And uh, as Okada does get the win with Claudio. As Okada and Claudio, what a team that potentially be I'd be over the moon if they have Cla if they have any type of positive chemistry. Oh, thanks a lot, uh, Windows. As uh, we'll update you later. We ain't got time for your bullshit. So the we have the ten man of Chaos and Task Force Death. Which should, I mean, that's a banger, first of all, but, uh, and again, <laughs> we, uh, we gotta get rid of Tomorishi in that matchup. There we go, as I was waiting for it, Tomoya Harada, is Goto, uh, but Eddie Kingston's gonna get the win for Task Force Death, as, uh, he's gonna beat Goto in 20 minutes. Then we have this eight-man, which is gonna be, uh, the Tag Champs versus the Tag Challengers, and the Tag Champs versus the Tag Challengers, if that makes any sense at all, so the heavyweight... Tag champs on one side, the junior heavyweight tag champs on the other side. House of Torture with Samurai Del Sol and Ryu Ui taking on Golden Ace with Freddy AI and Shane Strickland. Taking two matches, putting them into one. Freddy AI beating Samurai Del Sol. So that's a major win for the challengers, being the champions going into the final. Well, yeah, I mean, this is the final tour show. So, uh, But the Steel of the Show matchup, Sonata and SB Kento against Hayato Tamora and Jonathan Gresham again. Two matches, putting them into one. At Sonata's going to be Jonathan Gresham. In 14 minutes. Then we're going to have Naito versus Kosai Vegeta. As Naito obviously going to get the win there. And Juice going to beat Satoshi Kojima with the technical match class winning. There as, uh, yeah, Kojima unfortunately will not be able to work probably that long. But we're going to try it. See how it plays out. Uh, yeah, I mean, they won us in Kanto, but I think, uh... Uh, you, you know what? Might as well, right? We might as well run at the uh, either Komozawa Gymnasium. Oh, we'll run Budokan. Or not Budokan. Uh, the fucking... Why am I blanking on Cork and all? There we go. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Brain just did not want to compute to what I was thinking. But yeah, the final tour show. We get a final Kata Claudio main event. And I think it should be a pretty solid show, though, nonetheless. I kind of want that have that be the main, though. I don't know. Ah, that... Yeah, let's have it be the main. I like that. I like that 10-man. I like having the 10-mans being the main event. Just kind of makes it feel a little bit more important. But yeah, uh, as far as the opener, 56. Juice Robinson beating Satoshi Kojima with the full friction in 16 minutes. And Naito pins Kozai Vegeta with the Destino in 10 minutes. Nice little wins there for those guys. The SB Kento and Sonata beating Jonathan Gresham and Hero Tomorrow with a huge upset. As Sonata with the skull end over Jonathan Gresham. It's a major upset. Or, uh, as far as, the, yeah, because SB Kento is not even close to, you know, as far as being on the same level as Jonathan Gresham and Ayala Tamora. But at least Sonata gets the win for the LIJ team. It just made sense that the LIJ team would beat the team made up of two guys from different stables. Yeah, I, uh, tapping out Samurai Del Sol with the Koji Clutch and the 8-man, which is an 82, a solid matchup here. That's awesome. Awesome that no one's gotten hurt yet. 78 for the... Co-main event is Okada and Claudio beating Roger Strong at AJ Styles. And Okada with the Rainmaker over Roddy. It's a great win for Kazuchika Okada. As a 81 for the main event. 10-man tag 
Eddie Kingston pinning Hiroki Goto with the sliding D. As uh, that, you know, I mean, looking at uh, Chaos, if it wasn't for Goto, they'd be such a better team. But just obviously, Goto brings that weight down, and Task Force Death killing it here. Just uh, yeah, what a great little ten man that is, and that was, and that's a solid little show. We'll uh, gladly take that. So now on to our final shows of the Wrestling Dukaku Tour. Days night and one, or days <laughs> one and two, rather, as, uh, yeah, I mean, we got a big main event, 30 minute time limit for the main event of Champion versus Champion for night one. Great O'Conn versus Tyler Black. Excited to see how that plays out. Very, very intrigued by that. And uh, there's, you know, got a New Japan Strong Open Way title matchup on that card. Claudio versus AJ for the U.S. title. A lot happening, that is for sure, as on to the, uh, Final two shows of the tour. Alrighty, night one of Wrestling Utaku, as uh, we want to make sure that we have, as far as, I don't know if I should run the Tokyo Dome on the first show. I know we ran the National Stadium uh, once before here, and then we also ran the uh, Sayama Super Arena the first year we were uh, booking, but uh, I think, I think it should not be in the National Stadium. I definitely don't think that should be the case, especially for this first show, as that will obviously be a New Japan World for this broadcasting, as I then passing on microphone work to Hero Tomorrow, Satoshi Kojima. As I will, uh, let's just kind of look and see here. So Chubu, we can run, I think they have a, uh, yeah, they got the uh, 50,000 seater. Be close to a sellout, or we can just run the Toyota Stadium and sell that that out, no problem. It's not a bad choice. Uh, and then we get, well, we don't really have any options here. Got oh yeah, we got the Sapporo Dome. Could run there. It's not a bad call either. Yeah, um, the Osaka Dome is a good call. It wouldn't be a sellout, but it'd be pretty close. And then the Pepe Dome. I don't hate that. I don't hate that at all, to be honest. And, uh, yeah, then we have some of these... Well, no, that because that Q&A stadium is going to be a little too big. So, yeah, let's, um, let's run the Pepe Dome for the first one. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. So, main event, of course, Great O'Conn, Tyler Black, main event. And it will go the 30 minutes. You know, I was back and forth with this match. I was like, yeah, we can have O'Connor get a major win over Tyler Black. That'd be really, really cool. Or we could have, you know, Tyler Black beat Okan. It's not about even doing, like, a dusty finish where uh, it looks like one of the guys wins, but it's actually a DQ. And, it, like, so many different ways of going about it. But I just thought, you know, time limit draw, might as well. I think that's the best case scenario for both guys. And so, because, you know, we have Dominion coming up, and I kind of want both champions to look strong. And obviously Okan, a rather... The newest of champions compared to the two. Just felt like him losing right after winning wouldn't have made any sense. But a time limit draw, I think, is pretty pretty cut and dry for the middle. You know, as far as it, it's, uh, it keeps everybody happy, hopefully. But it, obviously not Tyler Black. Tyler Black's a little upset with having to put him over in the draw. But, uh, you know, I think that's going to be a solid main event. Co-main event, though. So not versus Hayato Tomorrow for the New Japan Strong Openweight title. And Hayato Tomorrow will retain. So he's had a hell of a run. Tamara has as a new Japan Strong Boy champion. Thought about it, because this would have been a great win for Sonata, but I just feel, I feel like the belt should stay on Tamara a little bit longer. It's going 27 minutes, though, and that should be a banger. Claudio Castagnoli versus AJ Styles, U.S. title matchup, and we have a new champion in Claudio Castagnoli beating AJ Styles. Great win there in 28 minutes. That should be a banger. Uh, Naito versus Juice, as Naito loses to Juice Robinson. What a great win. For Juice Robinson, uh, that's major, major, major victory there. As uh, I'm hoping, hoping that we can have a Juice title match for either Tyler Black or even Claudio. Somebody, somebody. I think we're probably going to do Claudio. I think that'd be a great strong main event for the U.S. title. So uh, because you know, obviously we have the best Super Juniors, maybe even have that be at the best Super Juniors finals. That that's not a bad option either. That, 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 because I would love for Strong to have title matches, but obviously I want you guys to see the title matches, so that's kind of the kind of uh, not-so-great kind of predicament that we're in there. But yeah, I think that's a, that's a good choice to have Juice and Claudio. 
U.S. title match. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm all for it. And we're gonna, you know, I think he's gonna outperform, so we're not gonna keep him strong. And then we have uh, Gresham versus SB Kinda for the Junior Heavyweight Title, and we have a new Junior Champion as well. Jonathan Gresham is gonna be SB Kinda, setting us to steal the show. I mean, it's been a long time coming. It's crazy to think Jonathan Gresham has never held the Junior Heavyweight Title. He's been a four-time Junior Tag Champ, but he's never been an actual Junior Champion. It's a long time coming, and it finally happens for him. Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a great win. Great win for United Empire as well. That's another belt for them. As uh, Then we have the Chaos Task Force Death, eight man. As uh, Joe Dorrance going to beat Ray Fenix. As, as I felt like that's a good win for him. Uh, actually, let's have Okada. Eh, nah, I kind of want to have Okada be involved in the finish. We'll keep uh, Doran getting the win over Ray Fenix. But yeah, so Okada getting involved in this eight man makes this match way better than what I thought it was going to be. So that's that's fun. Uh, Li Javis is a court of justice in this six man. As Shingo is going to beat Hanare. So that's a nice win for the Lij team. Josh Alexander and Corey Jarvis against the Astronauts. As the Astronauts will retain Takuya Nomura and Fuminari Fuminori Abe rather, gets the uh, win. And they keep the uh, good vibes going. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Oh, we have a... Got to change something. Oh, that was supposed to be a technical masterclass matchup. Ooh, weird. There we go. Perfect. So, uh, the post-show stuff. We're going to have a couple show stuff. First one, it will be... We'll have a pull-apart at the end. Actually, uh, just post-show. Pull-apart. Between House of Black and United Empire. So, guys, are you know, a little bit uh, heated here at the end of this. Both guys were wanting a win, and both stables were wanting that win. You know, Battle of Supremacy, really, but yeah, so we'll have Malachi Black and Tyler Black, and we'll have El Kakui. Then we'll have, um, or, you know, we'll have Volter. Well, actually, we'll have Leo Khan, <laughs> Volter, and, uh, oh, I'm trying to think who'd be a good, yeah, Black, I guess. That'd be fine. It kind of evens it up. Nice three on three. Actually, let's have it be Katsuya Kitamara, since you know, United Rage, might as well. We'll have them all be set on fighting. Nice, nice, nice. So we'll have a post-show press conference with Juice Robinson. As a uh, very braggadocious Juice Robinson. Highlighting his win, his victory, is saying it's... it's Highlight New Japan, and he's been a guy who's been a, a former U.S. champion, has been a former, uh, this one is, I want to say we gave him a strong title as well, as far as we gave him a reign there, uh, just double check, yeah, he's been a tag champ, he's been a U.S. champ, never opened six-man champ, oh, we could maybe, uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's, uh, it's a good call to have him go for, for Claudio, that U.S. title. He wants to uh, have that third reign. Yeah, issuing out the uh, the challenge. I you know it's it's tough. It's tough because it would make sense to do the Intercontinental Title match between him and Tyler Black, but I just I don't know. I just don't know. I feel like this is the uh, the best case scenario. Really, we'll see. We shall see. I could, you know, let's have it be Tyler Black. Why not? It'd be fun. Calls out Tyler Black. So that will be at the Best Super Junior Finals. And Juice versus Tyler Black. I like it. I like it a lot. Good shit. It waits. Just win. Challenges. Either. Naito as well, as far as talking about him losing. So then we'll have uh, one with Tamora as well, as far as Tamora keeping the uh, post show press conference. Yato 
Tamora. As uh, Tamora is you know, highlighting his win, but also, so, you know, everyone counted the dragons in out, saying we don't have Brian, we're not going to be anything. Well, this New Japan Strong open weight title is just the beginning. I'm winning the G1. <laughs> He's throwing it out there already. He's like, I'm winning this G1. There's not a man on the roster that can stop him type of thing. And, uh, I mean, that's some strong words, but, I mean, he's honestly a, a viable winner for sure. Uh, it would not be a far-fetched idea that Hayato Moore is going to win this G1. So I love that. I love that, uh, you know, helping boost up the G1 as well early on. You know, that's on the horizon, so we want to make sure we put that over as, as much as we can. And I was thinking, man, I've show out there too. Probably have, have those guys be not rated, really. Probably for the best. Uh, but the biggest post-show press conference is going to be one involving Claudio Castagnoli. So Claudio, obviously, super excited on, uh, you know, saying he wanted to face the best of the best. He's done that so far in his first, just in these few months. Uh, but he says this is just the beginning, you know, and he's been scouted. He's been touted. He's been eyed by, by many stables and many guys, many powerful players in, in New Japan, and he even gets cut off by Kazuchika Okada. So Okada walks in during the press conference, and, and, you know, as far as, like, you know, we were a great team at Wrestling Dutaku, the tour show, you know, as far as this last tour show, and, you know, Chaos was victorious today, you were victorious today, just makes sense to join Chaos and Claudio, just kind of, you know, as a long pause, thinks about it, and goes, you know, actually, you know, Okada, no, no disrespect, but, uh, you know, you're not going to get an answer here during this press conference because I've made my decision, but I'm going to wait until Dominion to make that announcement official to see where I'll be taking my talents to. So we're really building this up. This is kind of some more, kind of a harken back to like the territories when you kind of managers would vie for, you know, a talent as far as, you know, throwing money at them, throwing this and, and that at them. And we've seen that as far as throughout, you know, as far as, We've seen the, the tease of a group joining and then, you know, turning on them. We've seen guys throw money at them, guys throw anything at them. And I think this is uh, this has been a fun little story to tell. It's helped, I think, benefit Claudio as far as to have a run like this because it's so different. You know, there hasn't been something like this in New Japan that we have booked as far as for the past four years. So it's something fresh. Uh, so that was fun to do. But also, I, I think a lot of people are going to be excited where... Claudio goes from here, too, at the same time. So that's... So that should be fun. As I will call Swiss money. In the, the rain. AK. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Uh, so yeah, this is... Uh, I think this is going to be a pretty solid show. Uh, we're building up a lot as well. So that's always fun as far as building towards the future. It's funny. You know, we had to really pick on the spot as far as what Juice should do. As far as should it be him and Claudio at the Best of the Juniors Finals, or should it be him and Tyler Black? And I think him and him and Black is is a good call. So uh, yeah, I think that's a it's a fun main event. We'll see how it delivers. And the uh, Pepe Dome in front of forty thousand on hand for this one is Jarvis and Josh Alexander coming up short against the Astronauts. So that's their third defense. Dragon Suplex from Takuya Nomura over Court Jarvis. That's actually a pretty solid opener. Uh, Jarvis and Alexander is actually a, a solid little team. Green Knight Empire, but they come up short there in the opener. 78 here again as, uh, ooh, Hanari gets hurt. That does not, I mean, strains him there. It gets a strain. Looks like in the lumbar region as uh, Hiromu with a 91. It's pretty impressive. Alpha and Ezra with a 71 is kind of crazy uh, when you think about it, but uh, what a solid little six-man this was. Last of the Dragon for Shingo over Hanare. And decent little matchup. At least on it wasn't caused by an injury. And 84 for the 8-man here between Chaos and Task Force Death. During pinning uh, Ray Phoenix with the Revolution Bomb. A lot of 90s and 91s in this 8-man. Uh, but yeah, building up to the 6-man. Uh, never over a 6-man tag team battle matchup between Doring, Ashino, and Akira Francesco. So that should be fun as well. 71 for Gresham and SB Kendo. It sucks that SB Kendo had a lower leg contusion. That is tough because they have good chemistry, and it would have been a lot better had that injury not occurred, but it is what it is. But Octopus Stretch win for Jonathan Gresham, and he's your new junior heavyweight champion. Just like that. 
What a win. As Juice Robinson beating Tetsuya Naito with the pulp friction. So it was very close. Naito did outperform him, but it was relatively close. And that was a solid little matchup. Juice with a major victory over Tetsuya Naito. And he is eyeing that Intercontinental title. It's Claudio Castagnoli. He's the new U.S. champion. He gets the one to neutralize her over AJ Styles. In 28-26, phenomenal matchup there. Uh, pun intended. As a 93 for Sonata and Hayato Tamora for the New Japan Strong Openweight title. That's his third defense. <laughs> Hayato Tamora with the jackhammer over Sonata. It's a tough night for LIJ. At least uh, that six man, as far as the that matchup, they won. But other than that, it was a pretty abysmal night for him. SB Kendo's no longer the junior champ. And Naito loses, Sonata losing. It's a tough break for him. And our main event... Ooh, that's a 77. That is brutal. As, uh, yeah, that, uh, we probably should have just had Tyler Black win or something along the line. Because that just, that time of the draw was brutal. And that's going to hurt the show rating for sure. But that's 77 with the pull apart roar off the end. And the juice promo. As the Alex is winning, it also challenges Tyler Black for the Best Super Juniors. Or at the Best of Juniors Finals show as Hayato Tamora post show press conference and Claudio's as far as now we will see who he's gonna join at Dominion. Will it be Chaos? Will it be Dark Order? Uh, you know, Task Force Death was somebody that they never even tried to pursue as far as Claudio Casagnoli, so maybe something there. LIJ, same thing, did not go into uh, as far as trying to get Claudio Casagnoli to join them. Maybe the Court of Justice, that'd be a huge get. As far as Juice and, and Claudio, that'd be a, quite the uh, tandem. Dragon's Den would be something pretty exciting as well. I know that's kind of, he was willing to take on the best of the best. And, uh, you know, Brian Danson, Hayao Tamora, Claudio Castagnoli trio would be pretty fantastic. Sucks that that main event did not deliver at all. But Tyler Black has been phenomenal. I'd say his, not only, it's been about a year. His run has been pretty spectacular. We'll put him over. Uh, we're going to put Claudio over. And uh, we'll put over... Yeah, Tetsu Naito as well. I mean, he was the better guy in that Juice match. And the match was pretty solid. Just sucks that the main event did not deliver. But we know that the main event's going to deliver in this very next night here for night two. We're going to keep the recording going, obviously, because it is a major, major title match between Zack Sabre Jr. and Shinsuke Nakamura. Yeah, definitely should add Jay White and Miro against Golden Ace main event this first night. That was that was a my bad. That that was definitely a my bad. And uh, you know, as far as I you know, I get what I was trying to do, but at the same time I should have been realistic and being like, if you can't really figure out a, a great finish for that matchup, probably shouldn't have done it. And yeah, definitely should not have done it. Goldberg retires at fifty seven. It's funny, I just saw a uh thing on uh, Twitter where he's talking about it. he was wanting a retirement matchup but he's not waiting for the phone call he's gonna either do it himself or they're gonna you know it, it, as far as he was thinking about having that final show his you know, retirement matchup be at uh, in Israel which would be pretty wild as far as uh, yeah let's see what's the guy so Goto's contract's ending Tenzon's gonna retire I you know what listen I know a lot of people probably like you should probably just let him go I just can't let Hiroki go to leave. Well, at least keep him on a handshake deal, and he can just hang out in the backstage area. You know, he's he'll basically be a road agent once it's time comes. But it sucks that Tenzon's retiring. We'll definitely have a retirement show for that man. It's Hiroshi, it's Hiroshi Tenzon. He's the man. Definitely deserves it. But yeah. Uh, now night two. It goes to the Tokyo Dome for this one. I don't hate that, but. Uh, yeah, because we ran, you really can't do a lot of times here, but I, I just think we should run elsewhere. I think it'd be a good call to give another venue, or another you know spot to, to another you know as far as a place that we don't really run these major shows at. And it'd be nice to see. It's Nakamura lifting the locker room, it creates a, a silly game, and that game very popular backstage. So yeah, um, I think. Uh, yeah, the Shin, uh, Shuzaka Gymnasium. I think that's a good call. We'll see what we get. Be near 50,000 on hand for this main event. Zack Sabre Jr. versus Shinsuke Nakamura. We have a new heavyweight champion. For the first time in this entire series, a foreigner is the heavyweight champion as well. 
So he beats Shinsuke Nakamura to Zack Sabre Jr. And the prophecy has been fulfilled. He's the first British heavyweight champion. Uh, he's just... I feel like he's earned this. And I think this is a great win. This is a great match. Nakamura's run has been phenomenal. But I think it's time to end it. And uh, to have a, uh, something fresh like that. Having a new foreign champion. Heavyweight champion. It is going to be pretty spectacular to see. As uh, and then the... Of course the co-main event. Jay White Miro versus the Golden Ace. We have new tag team champions. So a lot of titles being changed hands between these next two days that we just saw as House of Torture will win. Is Miro's going to beat Tanahashi. So I would love for this finish to be Tanahashi goes for the standing high fly flow. Miro catches him, rolls through it, does a big ass like kind of wind up slam, slams him down, rolls him over, game over. And, uh, you know, Tanashi, of course, he's not tapping. He's the ace, so he, like, passes out from the pain of referee. You know, Red Shoes just got to ring the damn bell. And uh, we're having new tag team champions in Jay White and Miro. First time champions for Jay White and Miro. As uh, Miro's had the Never All Boy title and the New Japan Strong All Boy title and the, the Never All Boy Six Mans, but he's never had the, uh, you know, as far as the IWGP title, and he gets a tag team title. So that's awesome, though. I mean, He's awesome. Miro's the man. That should be a fun match, though. And, and that's a tough break for Tanahashi and, and Ibushi, but it just feels like that's the, the right call to change the belts now. As uh, the Never Obeyed Six Man Tag Team title matchup, Chaos versus Task Force Death, and we have a new Never Obeyed Six Man Tag Team Champions. That's Chaos getting the win. As uh, So I thought about having Okada be in this. I felt like Francesco would make this match a little bit more fun. As Ashino is going to be Kenta in 20 minutes. What a win for Shatoru Ashino. Kenta is super pissed. My god. Who else is going to be super pissed? Okay, just Kenta. But yeah, that's a great win for Shatoru Ashino. And uh, I think that's going to be a phenomenal matchup. Then Makabe versus Brody Lee to see who's going to take on the new U.S. champion. And it's going to be Daniel Makabe. So Makabe versus Claudio Castagnoli is set. That match will be fantastic. That is for sure. And now you can kind of see the, the shift in story, if you will, as far as seeing Claudio maybe potentially, you know, as far as the United Empire, another team that it would have made sense. Really the first stable that really th threw out the, the, the hand and being like, you would, if you joined us, we would be the most dominant fucking force. And he turned them down. Turned them down. And that rubbed Zach Sabre Jr. the wrong way. And it's he's definitely had a target on his back for a couple of months there. But now the Order of Destruction versus Falter and Katsuya Kitamura. Winner gets a tag team title matchup, and it's going to be Falter and Katsuya Kitamura of the United Empire. They beat Calvin Tankman there in 20 minutes. So man, I mean United Empire, they got a US title matchup. They have the new they have the new, you know, junior heavyweight champion and new heavyweight champion. And they got a tag team title matchup. So this is really shaping up to be quite the spectacular Dominion slash Best Super Juniors for United Empire. That is for sure. Then we'll have LIJ versus House of Black. It's eight man tag. Naito beating El Kukui in 20 minutes. Massive win for Naito after losing night one. And uh, yeah, actually, let's uh, let's change that. So we can give that to the Court of Justice. I think that makes a little bit more sense, yeah. As, uh... Yeah, we'll go El Fantasmo. And we will go... As far as... Why am I blanking on the fourth guy? Oh, that's right. Uh, he, he was yet to be revealed. That's correct, as I uh, completely forgot about that. So we'll have it be a six-man instead. Yes, and we'll have it be Tyler Black, Malachi Black, Robbie Eagles. We'll have Juice, Anare. Oh, no, we could do... Yeah, it was Anare. What? I'm an idiot. Jesus Christ. All over the place here. So, yeah, keeping that house of Black team. Justice. Tai Chi. El Fantasma. Yeah, Hanari's got the injury, but luckily he can still perform. As we'll have. Yeah, we'll have uh, Tai Chi beat El Kukui. 
Assuming this is the first time meeting. Read news. How fun. Yeah, I think that makes way more sense. For sure. Then Flight Club versus Rushmore. We're doing that story a little bit as far as having Claudio team up with Flight Club. Just makes sense we do the six man here. As I left it open to the game, which was interesting. Um, that would be a pretty major win for Top Flight. And the Hiara Jr. Vegeta, but I don't think that should be the right play. Ah, fuck it. You know what? Dante Martin over Matt Jackson. Why not? Major win. Major victory. Matt Jackson's extremely unhappy about that. Then the opener, Yay High and Strickland versus Mexa Blood, which Mexa Blood will retain. I think everyone probably saw that one coming. Uh, but yeah, and then for. Let's see where we're at. Yeah, we're, we're good on the booking analysis, so we just gotta do the post show stuff. Post show PC for Mr. Zack Sabre Jr. What a phenomenal victory for him. United Empire. I will just go UE Champions. You know, and they're just running through the accolades they have with Gresham and Makabe having his U.S. title matchup. Walter and Katsuyu Kinemura having his U.S. title matchup. That the, uh, the changing of the guard is coming. It is coming for sure. And he's wanting to prove that United Empire is the strongest, is the best. Who cares about Claudio Castagnoli? Sure, we could have had him. He turned us down, and that's for the best, because Makabe's going to beat his ass sooner rather than later, and uh, just, you know, bragging up the uh, the group as a whole. It's Falter. It sucks that Josh Alexander and uh, Corey Jarvis also lost, too, because they could have had the New Japan Strong open weight tag team titles. Just another belt along the way. Uh, but yes, so that should go pretty well. Go over Ness for Makabe and for Katsuki Namara and Volter. Do one for House of Torture as well. Halt. <laughs> White, Miro. And hyping up there, you know, tag wins as far as first time winning the tag team titles. And this is exactly what House of Torture needs, a little momentum. And that is, they're not done. They're saying, you know, as far as Zach is, uh, is you know, as far as wanting to be the first, you know, foreign heavyweight champion that's from the UK. And, and Jay just kind of laughing. It's like, fuck, I've already done that. Been there, done that. It's about time, you know, as far as Zach, you've been here almost a decade now. And uh, it's about time you, you finally did something with all that talent. <laughs> it's just kind of funny because obviously Zach's done a whole lot just in this span of the save. But uh, nice little shot you know, from Jay White there. Nice to see. Uh, we'll probably have... Honestly, I think that'll be it. I think that'll be it. Those two make sense. I think we'll run it. See what we get. At 85 for the opener. Well, that is pretty solid. Uh, right, you leave it on 90. 71 for Samurai Del Sol. Their third defense of the Junior Heavyweight Tag Team titles there is Ryu Lee. Just is on another level right now. It's been incredible. Flight Club beating Rushmore. Yeah, Matt Jackson was worse than Dante Martin. So, it makes sense that Dante gets another 450 splash. What a win for Flight Club, first of all. That is massive. 82 for the 8-man of Court of Justice versus House of Black as Tai Chi submitting El Kukui. Great win there. Great win there. As, uh, yeah, I mean, I thought about maybe having one for either House of Black since Juice had one. That would be kind of nice to see, potentially, but nah, we went away with it. 76 for the Order of Destruction against Valter and Katsuyu Kinemura. Tough break for the Order of Destruction, uh, but Valter winning with a golden bomb over Calvin Tankman. That, this, is, this is meaty men beating the shit out of each other right here. This is just... Four absolute units in there beating the shit out of each other. I would love to see that match in real life. Uh, but Daniel Makabe beating Brody Lee with the arm trap German suplex. What a win for Makabe. And that's a major win, first of all. But to beat Brody Lee like that, too, is massive. Absolutely massive. Another 87 for the six-man. The never-will-be-six-man tag team titles have changed hands. 
what an all-time trio, though, that Ray Phoenix, Pac, and Kenta are. But I think it was time. I think it was time to, to put the belts on somebody else. And Chaos getting a never always six-man tag team title run now would, would be pretty nice to see. Tag team title matchup. Jay White and Miro beating Golden Ace. Of course, we talked about the finish of that matchup. But Miro being on the same level almost as Tanahashi is pretty cool. I'm glad that was the finish. Jay White kind of gets carried in that one. But that's a nice win, though, for House of Torture. That's for sure. And the 99 for our main event, Zack Sabre Jr. gets the win in 36-12. Beautiful stuff. He outperforms Nakamura, too. So the right guy wins and just exceptional stuff. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Needed that main event to deliver in a big way. It's a solid show. Solid show. Definitely should have had this, you know, be the main event for night one. But I am, uh, I'm super pleased with how everything played out. Incredible two-day tour. Or uh, two-day. Back-to-back shows. Even though the, the main event didn't deliver, I still was, was happy with that first night. But yeah, Kenta was pissed. So we'll put him over. Uh, we'll put over uh, Zach. Big hug. Big moment for him. And uh, we'll put over Miro as well. That was a big win to beat uh, Hiroshi Zanashi like that. Not a whole lot of guys can say that. <laughs> so that is massive. Massive indeed. So that will do it for this episode. Thank you all for watching us now. It is the best Super Juniors is on the horizon for us. It's a big tournament, as always. Uh, I think we're going to do something a little bit different. I think we're going to kind of mimic what the G1 is with the 10... Four, you know, the four groups of ten guys. I think we're going to try to do something similar to that. Maybe, uh, you know, groups of six as far as having uh, four groups of six guys just to kind of mimic that. I think that would be a really cool idea. We'll see, though. Maybe we'll be able to have 40 juniors in this. That would be pretty nuts. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's uh, a successful show in my books. I think money-wise we're doing really well. Yep, $65 million ahead. Pretty solid. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys next time. Take care, everyone.